It's an unusual place to take lunch. Or are you still here in this morning? Come. I'm used to seeing you near the front, but not for several weeks now. You have decided to make yourself less conspicuous. <laughs> no, I enjoy watching your audience. They were appreciative today. We seem to have interrupted each other. You should be in your laboratory. So should I. Good day. Metro. The patient you hypnotized this morning, the case of hysterical abasia, what would happen if her memory of the traumatic event could be removed completely, permanently, as if her lover had never left her, or not in that fashion? Is that desirable, do you think? Mm -hmm. What would Professor Maynard say to such a course? Preferable, surely, to remaining a cripple. As far as we can tell, it is this memory she's suffering from. Are we to leave people deranged by reminiscences? Oh, there speaks the Jew. Men of the world. To look at, not in the height of fashion, perhaps, but men of reason, practical, bloodthirstily intellectual. And underneath this plausible disguise, dreamers, riven with guilt, fleeing from what? Why so eager to eradicate the past? To want to make this girl a wandering Jewess. Oh, yeah. You can make her forget. But what is more important? To free her into a different illusion or to try to learn from her how the brain manufactures such diseases. What you saw today was theatre. To understand the mind. We must wait for the biologist to tell us. Back to your microscope.